Welcome to today's meditation. Today we'll be doing a four bow meditation. If you're new to this, uh, just follow the instructions and you'll do just fine. Um, but in general, we are looking at 20 minutes in, and entering an increasingly deeper state of surrender every five minutes throughout that time. Uh, but before we begin, let's just simply get comfortable. Make sure you're seated comfortably. And you may want to close your eyes at this time or draw them into soft focus. And let's just become aware of our surroundings. How does the air feel against your skin? What sounds do you hear? Where are your hands placed? Where are your feet? How does your body feel in this environment? You may hear an air conditioner or other sounds that seem distracting, but just instead of trying to change them, change yourself. Just settle into their environment. Be fully present. And let us begin by taking a deep breath in, letting it out slowly. And so doing, clear away whatever obstacles you may have brought with you to experiencing the presence of the Spirit in this time. And as we move into this meditation, we bow internally or externally at the head, just a slight nod forward to acknowledge that we are trying to intentionally seek a power greater than our own that exists around us at all times, but yet is not always in our awareness. And let's consider the last 24 hours of our lives. What do you have, what happened to give thanks for? What did you maybe miss? What made you happy? What insights came your way? What did you consume? Did anyone reach out in love to you? Did you reach out to anyone in love?
Now, picture yourself bowing more deeply at the waist, and maybe as you do so, take another breath in and let it out. Feel yourself sinking into a deeper state of openness to spirit. Openness to connection to those who are meditating with you at this time. And bring forward in your consciousness someone who is struggling right now, who could use the energies of prayer. Will that be a physical ailment, a mental ailment, a spiritual one? Try to locate their own struggle someplace in your body where your body is most empathetic, where you can feel it yourself. I invite you to open yourselves up to the energy of that's in the room, that's all around you. Let it in to touch you in a healing way. Direct that energy to that place of empathy. And only when you can sense a vitality, a healthiness there, only then call back to mind the person you're praying for. For in so doing, we deliver only a cleaner energy, and direct it most accurately to where it needs to go. Now let's 
Take another deep breath in and let it out. And as you do so, sink down internally anyway onto your hands and knees. Not groveling before some God with anger management issues. Simply turning yourself over to a power that loves you more than you love you. Loves others more than they love themselves. And it's connected to a far larger story and knows your story far more than you do. And during this time, I invite you to find that which you need most in the coming days, or perhaps to just today. Allow spirit to help you find this thing. Sometimes we think we know what we want. But upon further reflection or further insight, or further inspiration, we discover something more appropriate, more effective or powerful to pray for. Sometimes what we need to pray for most is a closer relationship with spirit. Deeper sense of surrender on a daily basis. Help us through these troubled times. be as specific as possible in what you are requesting and then in, try to start envisioning what the fulfillment of that request looks like. Sometimes what we need most is just to let the troubles of the day be the only troubles that we are focused on. 
refusing to focus on any troubles that may come tomorrow. And I invite you to take another deep breath in, let it out, and as you do so, just sink internally anyway, or right onto the floor, just fully prostrate on the ground, letting go of all agenda, letting go of all concern, letting go even of the need to hear from spirit or to feel anything. And as you let yourself go into this deeper and deepest state of surrender, just follow your thoughts gently, never developing anything beyond where you continue to be interested in that thought. But if you're intensely interested in that thought, well, just try not to hold on too tightly. Allow spirit to be your guide. Sometimes spirit has no thoughts to offer, but simply wants to be in relationship, in presence with you. If anything that looks like love appears, love of spirit toward you or your love of spirit, pay extra attention. Develop that line. say, I love you to spirit. Sometimes that's all we need for spirit to break through. As we begin to approach the ending point of this meditation, I invite you to look back over your time right now. Is there anything of substance that you want to hang on to that you need to note so you don't forget during your day? So often the spirit speaks with a very quiet whisper. It's easy to let those whispers pass without noting them, without remembering them. 
But if they're any stronger, they would affect your free will. That's why they're subtle. You can choose to hang on or to let go. It's up to you. And let us now let go of this meditation gently. Take another deep breath. Let it out in thanksgiving. Thank you, Spirit, for being our guide, our partner, our beloved. Thank you to those who have been meditating with us, adding their energies, supporting us, even as our energies support them. Have a blessed day.